back to my channel. So today I have this pretty fun, vibrant look. I tried a lot of new products in this tutorial and most of them are drugstore products. Actually all of the new products that I tried are drugstore products. But yeah, if you'd like to see how I got this look, just keep watching. The video is going to start when I've already done my foundation. Hi everyone! So like I previously stated, I have started already with my foundation on because I was filming another video where I was testing out that foundation so I didn't really show me putting on my foundation because it's in the other video. Anyway, so the next thing I'm going to be using because I'm going to be trying out some new products today is my Sonia Kashuk Concealer. I have a feeling that this is going to be too light for me which is kind of scary since my foundation is already too light for my skin so I'm slightly frightened but this was on sale for like four bucks at Target so I definitely wanted to get it because it was four dollars and I'm a sucker for cheap things or things that are on clearance okay so it comes in this stick form as you can see I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing with my face so it comes in this to be form well it's definitely very light. My poor face is like, girl, this is not the right complexion for you. I mean, I look so weird <laughs> because my my foundation, my foundation is probably going to oxidize soon. I mean, I just put it on, so I imagine that it's going to oxidize hopefully soon so I don't look like a crazy person. But usually where I conceal is underneath my eyes and my blemishes, my little pock marks, blah, 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 around my nose, etc. like that like a crazy person. I'm not really going for the highlighted look today, so the uber highlighted look, so I'm just going to keep it like this and not really put concealer in any other places. This is a really light concealer. So far, I like the consistency. I think it actually has really good coverage, surprisingly. This is actually really good coverage. Hey now! Got me a really good coverage concealer for four bucks. I am so happy. <laughs> I'm just gonna smooth that in with my fingers like I usually do. This is actually, I think, is this the first talk through tutorial I've done? I feel like it is. Hopefully this won't be like super long. <laughs> That's why I usually don't do talk through tutorials because they end up being super super long and I don't want to have like really really long videos. Oh man, I'm gonna have to buff that out. Anyway, so next I am going to, <laughs> should just leave it like this. Fabulous! Anyway, hmm. next I'm going to be taking um, the Lorac Pro Contour Palette, <laughs> as you can see. I'm taking the yellow highlight in there and just setting my under eyes just so. This is going to help with my uberly light concealer because it'll darken it up a little bit, but not too much. So I just set my under eyes with that. Look like a jigaboo. A uh, crazy looking jigaboo. Next I'm going to take my Fit Me Maybelline Powder. Press powder in the shade 220. And I'm going to place this all over my face. Not the places I just did with the um, yellow highlight. So all over the rest of it. That's on my nose too because I don't want my nose to be super super highlighted. That's just something that I do. I like put concealer on it and then it darkens it a little bit. I don't know. You'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about. So the next thing I'm going to do is blush. I usually do blush right after that. I'm going to be trying this new blush. It's called Pink Passion by e.l.f. It was $3 at Target. Again with trying new products. Very excited. It looks like it... It look, I'm a little frightened right now. That looks really hot pink. So we'll see how that comes out and if that works out very well. Mm -hmm. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Whoa. Holy moly. Okay. It's not that bad. And just apply that to the apples of my cheeks. That's what I'm doing. With the same brush that I used from before. I've actually been loving this brush. I think I got this in a boxy charm. Been loving it. Loving it. And then apply that up to the other side. Not look as crazy. Then I'm going to be taking my Lorac Con contour brush. It came with my contour palette. So I don't even know what you call this. Lorac contour brush. That's what I'm going to call it. And I'm going to take the medium contour from the palette do, 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 and just take a little bit on my brush. A little bit in the hollows of my cheek usually and then on my jawline. So I'm going to use that same highlight 
or not highlight, what the heck am I talking about? The same contour shade, which is the medium contour shade for the Lorac palette. And go down my neck, blah, blah, blah. And because this foundation is a little too light for me, I'm going to actually put some up here too. And also it's starting to oxidize, so that's good. Usually I don't like when my foundations oxidize, but because I got a lighter foundation, I'm fine with this one oxidizing. The thing I do is usually add a highlight to my cheeks. I'm like love, 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 love highlighting. <laughs> highlighting is like one of my favorite things, especially the cheekbones. I would say I don't usually highlight anywhere else usually. It's just the bridge of my nose and my cheekbones, but I have been loving that. And I'm going to use Champagne Pop because it's my new favorite highlighter. I love this by Becca and Jaclyn Hill. So this is the Champagne Pop. It's beautiful. And I just add that to the tops of my cheeks. Oh my cheekbones. Give me some higher cheekbones, girl. I don't know what I'm saying. Who knows? And I just use the same brush because I find this brush really like nice. I like this brush. I know I have watched some reviews where people didn't like this brush as much. I don't understand them because this brush is awesome, so maybe it just works well for me. Who knows? I love the highlight. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Then what I like to do is just contour my nose just a little bit and then add highlight to the bridge of my nose. So I'm going to take the medium contour out of the Lorac palette again and I'm just going to draw where I'm going to contour. And like I said, I usually do really subtle contour. Like I don't do extreme contour by any means because I just, I don't know. I don't really like extreme contour on my face. I think it looks so good on other people and then on me I'm like, what did I do? So I usually just draw like where the lines, where I want the lines to be. And then I will just buff it out with my fingers. This is literally what I do all the time. And then I just buff it out with my finger so that it gives like a really light contour. Like, So next we'll be moving on to the eyes. For a primer I'm going to be using the NYX pencil in the color Milk. This is so great because it helps your eyeshadow to stay really like, it pops, it pops and it lasts all day. I usually add like the Matte MAC paint pot before this but I'm not going to do that today only because I put like so many layers of foundation and stuff. Well, not so many layers, but I put like a decent amount of foundation and I put concealer. So I'm pretty sure it's primed enough and it'll be fine, especially with the white base. Like if I wasn't using the white base, then I would be concerned and make sure that I go and get the, the paint pot. But since I am using a white base, I am totally fine with just using a white base. <laughs> So the first thing, the first shade I'm going to take is by Makeup Geek. I have them in my little Z palette here and I'm going to be taking my fluffy brush. Who is this? By Luxie Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm going to be taking the shade, what shade is this? Frappe. The shade Frappe, which is this like tan, tan, I don't even know. It's a tan shade. It's like a burnt tan sienna shade. And I just apply that to my crease. It's, next I'm going to be taking my small flat, well it's not flat, my small tapered blending brush. And I'm going to be taking in the shade Mocha, which is also by Makeup Geek, and it's right here. I'm going to be placing that on the inner and outer corner of my eyeballs. And then just lightly connecting them when there's like very little product left on the brush. That way, because I don't want like the cut crease look. Because I suck at cut creases, so I don't even attempt to do that. I'm bad at it. I'm not gonna not lie to anybody. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm good at it. I'm just not. So I kind of like connect it a little bit in the middle, but not to the point where it's like extreme. Like there's just a little, there's only a little bit of color left on it by that point is also by Makeup Geek. I just love my Makeup Geek shadows. And it's the shade Grandstand. It is this shade right here. It is so pretty. So pretty. And this I'm actually gonna, just going to be taking my finger because I'm a rebel like that and popping it on the inner third of my eyelid. Then to kind of buff all that together I'm going to be taking a clean blending brush. A clean one, a clean one, and just blending that out 
because I'm kind of going for the more muted look. So, so now on for the next wonderful stamp. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to do is take a piece of tape because I cannot get a straight line without tape. I just can't do it. I'm not going to lie. Can't do it. So I'm going to place that underneath my eyes, pointing upward. You are supposed to take some of the stickiness off of it beforehand, but I am an idiot, so I didn't do that. And I'm going to be taking my Schwing eyeliner by The Balm Cosmetics and lining my eyelid and just winging it out very, very slightly. So let's do that. Actually, I'm not going to wing it. I'm not going to wing it. I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm not going to wing my eyelid. Mint, but the next thing I'm going to do right now is use this new mascara. This is by CoverGirl. It is called the Super Sizer. This is my first time using it. As you can see, I haven't even opened it. So, it's my first time. We'll see how it goes. I have heard really good things about this mascara. So, I'm hoping that the people were correct. The people on the YouTubes. It actually does a good job at fanning out my lashes. I don't know what is going on with my lashes though. They keep trying to stick together. These two in the middle. Stop it! It really fans out your lashes. <laughs> Makes it look very va va boom. I think if my lashes were not being so stubborn, then it would look even better. But my lashes are like, don't split us up, please. Lashes, I'm going to first line my waterline with the Tarte Inner Rim Liner. Love, love, love this liner. It's definitely one of my favorites. So I'm just going to line my waterline with that. Next thing I'm going to do is take the shade Bella Violet. This is by Milani. It's the number 14. It is their single eyeshadows. And I'm going to take my pointed shadow brush and just place that on my lower lash line. And you can put more, but I'm just going to do it like really subtly because I don't want to go too crazy with the purple. And then after I've done that, I'm going to place the same mascara on my lower lash line. So I would say that I do like this mascara a little bit better for the upper lash line, but it's not bad for the lower one either. I just feel like the wand is a little too big for the lower lash line. Like it's definitely easy to smudge which I'm not the greatest fan, but yeah, I like this mascara so far. Actually a really good mascara. So right now I'm gonna go and do my other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got both of my eyes done and now we're gonna go on to my lips. So this is the shade Beloved 225. It is a lip pencil. I'm going to just outline my lips with it. Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to take the new shade, or it's probably not new, but new to me, Matte Lipstick by NYX. This is in the shade Sweet Pink. I have a feeling this is gonna be too much pink for my liking, but we're gonna go with it for today. Oh no. <laughs> This is bright. I mean, I'm impressed though. This is super pigmented. My goodness, wow. I'm so... Wait, I can't talk, obviously, while I'm putting on lipsticks. Duh, Aviana. Like... Well, I gotta say that I'm really, really impressed with how pigmented this lipstick is. And it's not really, really overly drying. Like, this is a matte lipstick, but it's not super drying. So I'm actually super impressed. Go ahead, NYX. It's very pigmented. It's not lying to your lips. And it's a matte lipstick. I'm impressed. I like this one. So here's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I totally forgot to film an outro. So sorry. But I love you guys so much, and don't forget to just be yourselves. Have a great day. Bye!